Well, tonight is state now. Residents of Anguang Sama, a community situated on a mountain in Madala, lack basic social amenities and they have lived like that in deprivation for a long time. But two years ago, TBC News reported on the deplorable living condition of the people, but since then, nothing has changed. And TBC News' Chenami Bamiyi visited the community once again and now reports. Two years ago, TVC News filed the report about the challenges that the people living in this community face. No health care on this mountain, no access road or portable water supply. But two years after, no intervention has been made. The story remains the same. Latifa had just concluded a higher national diploma from a polytechnic in Zamfara State. She's back home living on this mountain with her family, although she grew up here. But the stress of living here without basic social amenities is not a reality she's comfortable with. Our major challenge here is how to get water because there is no water around here. Before we get water, we have to go down there. Climbing up with the water is kind of very difficult and challenging too. Based on our resources, it's still okay, but the only problem we have here is just water. And our stones here is very thick for us to climb, that's all. Hey, madam, make I talk to you now. Mm -hmm. I want to know your experience. Uh -huh. This is Angwantsama community, a mountain in Madala, a border town between Niger State and Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. The plight of residents in this community is harsh due to the absence of social amenities. Although TVC News reported this story two years ago, the community is yet to receive attention from the government. I went around the neighborhood to check on the people I met two years ago. Some have moved out and new ones have moved in. In the Diamaka lives here too. Her mini plantain chips factory is also here. Of the, as we did this place now, if you won't give Okada or Mibai, we'll make it carry on for you now. No be the price where they go carry the ones ready for down, then they go take carry you. So your own price go there higher than those people where they down. And sometimes you no go even see, they no go agree to come up because they will say the suffer mess too much, they no go feel climb the hill. A major challenge is that water. Now someone's supposed to take bath, but for you to get water now it's very difficult. You have to go down to fresh water and climbing up here. It is not everybody that can do that. So that our major challenge here is that water. Uh, if we want to fish water, we'll go down before we get the water. And if his person is sick, it's down that we used to go before we get any hospital. This is our challenges. We like the government should provide water for us. In addition to the need for water and access roads, the absence of a primary health care facility increases the risk of death in case of ill health. Not too far, but going down to the health, health center, it is not a hurry up something. You can't just move freely to the health center. So I think uh, if there is a way, uh, our government can just bring a health center very close, apart from the one we're having down here, I think that can help us actually. Like. Uh, a brother of mine that stays up here, named Jacob, I can recall last time uh, he was very sick and taking him down. That resulted to an accident of those that carried him as well. So they fell down and uh, got some injuries again. So taking a, a, a very sick person down to the health center is another challenge. 9th of December, that I was sick. So I have to, my husband was not around. So I called him before he carried me down. It was very hard for me to come down. Up here is most people around here we have nurses we call to come up to three us or something like that. We mostly go out when it's very, very serious, when the sickness is very serious. So that's how we've been managing for years. We are praying and hoping the government come to our aid. If there is ball around here, at least for us to get water it should be much more easier. The Health Ministry of Niger State is now divided into two ministries to ensure effective administration, the Ministry of Primary Health Care and Ministry of Tertiary Health. The Commissioner for Primary Health Care, Dr. Dangana Ibrahim, 
whose ministry oversees the primary healthcare facilities, says their focus is currently not on establishing new healthcare facilities in the states. We have a certain criteria that we use in terms of uh, population, where people live, and the distance to those facilities. So our goal now is to concentrate, except where exceptionally we have strong reasons to build new facilities. So for us, we want to concentrate on the so many that we have that are not yet optimal and bring them up to optimal stage rather than building new facilities all around the state. So that is not our focus. Accessing the available primary healthcare centers around the mountain is a major challenge as there are no access roads created to enable the people move freely. They believe that one day their plight will get the desired attention but they do not know how long they will have to wait. The people are hopeful that this new government and place will come to their aid and provide at least a healthcare center on this mountain to avoid the deaths that occur while people try to access healthcare down the hill. Chenemi Bami, TVC News, Madala.